everybody. Hi, y'all. We're Okay. Out. Just so you know, the two of us are about to as die. spent and, and about to die as you can get. Thank now, God we got nitroglycerin pills for my Thank mom. you. I very seldom get starstruck. I think if I ever officially met Stephanie Powers, I'd freak the freak out. Um, I'm trying to think, who else? Of course, the first time I ever met Barbara Mandrell, that was a big deal. But sure. that was back in the day. That was way back in the day when Donna I was so Summer. green and new. Especially Donna if, Summer now. That would, that if would he ever met Donna Summer or Cher, I think he would die seven deaths. But anyway. Anyway. So, because the two of us, we live in New York, you live in Nashville, you kind of see people. It's it's not like we're not effective, but you're, you're really not like effective because you in New York especially, it's you a, have to not be effective. Because if you're a New Yorker, you, you can't. Can't act like you like people because then you wouldn't be a New Yorker and as stupid as it is you you just don't act like you like people so anyway tonight we go to see the, the color, color purple. purple no we really weren't going I wasn't really going to go see it color purple the color purple it okay. is the, the revival of the show now, and we've seen the original so we were, we were not really seeing not seeing the, the new one whatever no need to but then Jennifer Hudson left and then who took over Brian Heather Headley <laughs> So we had to go. So Heather's first. Heather, was, okay. First was, of all, wait, wait. Just a little background for you. Brian introduced me to Heather Headley through Aida. Yeah. And he insisted that I see the show. Now I did not. Unfortunately, all that is everything in me dies every day that I never saw her in Aida. But the original cast recording is her. I know every syllable. I know every line that, because she enunciates every single syllable. She's amazing. Yeah. But she so, originated the role of Nala in The Lion King. Yes. Then she went and originated Aida. Yeah, and Tony. it was written for her. Won the Tony? Yes. Won the Tony. The one so Grammy Brian after that. tells me that I need to see this thing. So he takes me to see it. I die like 800 deaths right there. Cannot believe this show is so amazing yes. and I didn't see Heather in it. So then I become a Heather fan. And then, well, but Start she thought, oh, I want to see this show again. Took her the last week. Before it closed. That was when Sunday was beyond stupid. Yeah. But anyway, so then I decide that I'm a Heather fan because of her music and I love her. So I have followed her from then on. We got her new released and, album, which yeah. is so good. Which is like three years old. Now, and anyway. FYI, Preacher's Kid. Preacher's Kid, right here, right here. Anyway. All of us. So, so she was supposed we find to go out. To, she's she going to be here. Wait, but she goes oh, to London and go do the bodyguard, which is going to bring to the New York. Guess who got pregnant? Heather Headley. Heather Headley. Couldn't come to New come York. To she's New over York. here. She's singing there. She's doing this. Oh, when you come back. And then Chad and Lee see her at a private event. Tiffany. Tiffany event. Who does not get to see her? Me. The who is burn. right downtown. Right downtown. Right downtown. My face in it. Yes. I'm dying. So anyway, okay. Jennifer Hudson left on Sunday. Heather Headley came into the show on May 10th. Oh, wait. That would be... Oh, that's today! Her first night as Suge Avery. Avery. Now, let me just tell you. Her first she, time back on Broadway. Big she deal. came out on Broadway on the show. The place lost their Stop. minds. Now, just a little side note. Before, the little dude selling like the CDs and the other thing, he's like, so you're here for Heather? Because we were a little worried that maybe people wouldn't. And I'm like, I I'm sorry, are, are you kidding me? Are, are you, right now, you're kidding me, right? Because everybody knows. And when she came out, the place lost their mind. Now, two of the people that lost their mind with the rest of the audience was us and... Oprah, I'm sorry, when, Oprah and Gail. Yes, they were there in the same room. Oprah they and knew Gail. they were going to be, you know, I didn't, I didn't really think they would show. I didn't really. No, want they them. did, they did. They, they did. bring so much with them, and I thought, you know, they we don't did, need that yeah. tonight. We just want to be. A we wanted moment. to just be there. But no, and Oprah. sitting next to Oprah, who was sitting next to Oprah? That'd be uh, Heather's husband. Heather's husband, who is quite cute, I must yeah. say. Yeah, used to play for the. Go Heather. Of the but anyway. He played for one of them football teams or something. Anyway. This show. So good. I cannot believe that I did not want to see this show. So good. And it's not that I didn't want to see it, but I was like, well, hey, I've already seen it. Yeah, and then she came I into it. I am now okay. going to see it multiple times. Yes. If I have to do rush tickets for $30, I will go as many times as I can. And just as a side note, Cynthia Arino. Cynthia Arino. Arino. Played Seely. Oh. She is about three feet my tall. My. Gosh, she is amazing. No, and she's British. She's oh, British. she comes out talking about Hello, we're like, hello. She's like, you don't have it. I'm like, why? 
this shit. And Brian's like, British. I'm like, shut Somebody it. Somebody bring this woman a cup of tea. <laughs> we could have made her a cup of tea. Give me a Lipton tea bag and some hot water. Honey, I cannot even begin to tell you the amazement that was tonight. She was awesome. So we're standing Heather there awesome. with all a whole bunch of other people waiting to get autographs and stuff. And let I me, never do that. I never go out. I, never, I, I think I had stood one time, and that was for Miss... Um, yeah, you, Heather Headley. I stood one time for Stephanie Powers, and she didn't stop, and I was a little disappointed. But not at her. I still love her, but I was very disappointed I didn't get to see her. Heather but got all the autographs of everybody, right? So the last person to come out was Heather. I lost my mind. So gracious. And I was so like, I was 12 years old, and I was meeting Barbara Mandrell for the very start, first time, which actually didn't happen until later. But anyway. She comes over and we're talking to her and I'm like, oh my God, I cannot believe that I'm meeting you. I'm just, I'm just, and she's like, why? And I said, because I love you and you're amazing. And she goes, oh, well, thank you very and I'm much. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to cry. She goes, don't she, cry. She's like, don't cry. But she's talking to me like, oh, well, you know. Hello, strange person. And I, and I said to her, because, you know, I do follow her on the Twitter, the Instagram, and the Facebook. Yeah. And I said... Did your family make it in okay? Because, you know, I guess I could be considered a stalker, but I'm not. But, yeah. I'm totally a stalker. She goes, oh, oh yes. yes. One of the boys is here in my husband. husband. They made it. They made you it know. fine. Oh, I'm so and glad. I'm, like, yeah. I'm so yeah. glad. Because, you know, we were worried. I, and I wanted to tell her of our preacher-daughter connection, but I couldn't even get it out. Because it was freaking Heather. out. It was Heather. It was Aida. Did I tell y'all? Aida. Yeah. I met Aida. Yeah. And she kind of talks like this. She has this really yes. voice. Okay, seriously, her voice. So, we have said all of this to say, anyway, get your behind to, see to the New color York purple. City and go see the color purple. My mama is coming next week. I think I am making her go see the color purple. But uh, anyway, uh, the other hand, Lee Carlson, she is who she is. And Cynthia... I've got her, to, Irvina, we got to remember no. this name because this name is somebody we need to know. I'm telling you, she's amazing. No, what was her name? Ir I don't know what Ir she did, Ir but I know she's Ir Ir Oh gosh, Er Er E R I V O E R I V O. Whoever Aribo. Let me just tell you, y'all. Write it amazing. down. Write it down. And I'm telling you, ain't big as a minute. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. cute, cute I always thought girl. I almost thought she was the mayor of Munchkin City. She was that small. She has dyed her hair blonde. Honey. That's not natural. Uh, no, what, what? It's not that, but it is so cute. And yeah, honey, cute. British accent. I'm so in love with her. So I just come see the show. It. Come see the color Come, come see the color purple. So Brian and I have come here to have a drink to so decompress because I'm so wound. I can't even begin to tell you crazy. just how wound I am. But now that I know where the theater is and the stage door is, that's all I need um, to know. Yeah, because I'm thinking yeah, well, I may have to try to get some a intense seven, personal because, research. Oh, 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 oh. So the security lady comes out, Brian. She is about six feet tall, flat footed, looking German with a top knot that is. And so when he tight. said top knot, he is not lying. It was top, top knot. It was, and if she crossed her legs, her mouth would have blew open. Ooh, anyway, she was full tighter than Dick's hat man. And she's like, "Do not step across this line. Do not put your don't ask, ask for selfies. Don't ask for selfies. Don't do them. You can don't speak touch them. to them, but you'll reach across the thing. And, 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 and like, bring your own pen. Every one, one of them, them came out with a pen. I'm like, you need to you need to check yourself and understand yeah, what you're doing yeah, before yeah, you start yelling yeah, at people. Yeah. Oh, oh, but she was like a but little bit. But anyway, scared. she was getting paid her dollars and she was earning her dollars. I'm like, Kyle, I mean. And real then, girl. you know, she comes over, she's so gracious with everyone. Yeah. And I'm like, top nine, forget you. Uh, okay. She done talked to me and told me not to cry. Yeah, she told us not to cry. But anyway, I just beg of you. If you uh, love theater at all, if you have any, what it, come to New York, yes. get a lottery. see do the, the lottery. color do purple. Whatever you can. They oh, do rush they tickets for $35. Yes. I'm thinking that we're going to have to do this. I cannot not see her again. Yeah, right, right. I will oh. not make that mistake again. No, no. But anyway, oh, oh, and by the way, we saw Queen Man Heather Ridley tonight. Oh my God, Queen Man Heather Ridley tonight. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. I don't know that I'll be able to sleep tonight. All right, so but well, anyway, this will help. Yes, that, that will help. Anyway, so honey. cheers to all of you and cheers to Heather Headley. And, and oh my God. long may she wave beyond, because she's amazing. Beyond the moon here. Okay. Beyond the moon. Bye, Bye. Southern BS says we love you. Bye.